Hey guys, back with another video. And this one might be maybe a bit different. Yeah, it's definitely gonna be different. But I'm gonna but I'm gonna be talking about Alessio Deloda Deletta Deletta today. And let's just say he's an M2 driver this season. That really didn't do well. Yeah. Didn't have a good season. Got zero points in F2. And, out, and like, it's just been a really bad year for Doletta. And, and I'm going to be talking about his career. And how, how he's going to also be next year. He's, he's, he's going to be with them next year. With uh, Na Matteo Nanini, so it's gonna be an Italian duo, and he's Italian, and he's one of the oldest ones on on the F2 grid. He's he was born in 1994. I think like, the only one who might be older is Roy Nassani, who was also 27. So yeah, and he's 27 years old. Uh, and like, let's start this off though. So yeah, he 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 definitely started a bit differently than other F2 drivers. Instead of starting at go karts. He, uh, he started on motorcycles. Yeah. He, he, he raced at the Italian Super Stock 600 motorcycle, cha motorcycle Championships. And then he made the switch to, have to, 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 uh, um, to, 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 to motor racing, to, to cars. And he's also been featured in a few, uh, four-wheel contests, cars racing. And the Italian Formula 4, Formula Renault, Euro Cup. Asian Formula Free and FIA Free F Free. So yeah, he has had not maybe the most excellent career, but it still also hasn't been that bad. Like he he has featured in F Free. Uh, he has featured in in Formula Renault, Asian Formula Free. But the thing is, of him, he doesn't really. I'm really any like talent. He he like he, he's not really. He's 27. He's Italian, but like he hasn't even finished like anywhere near the top 10. Like I, I'm gonna be looking at results, like because it like there's like no results that like even Ragunathan, who I call Ragun Mavir Ragunathan 2.0 because he's literally that. Like. For you to come into your first season, like, in F2, like, obviously maybe hitting the ground running, he hasn't done that. He's done nothing like that. Uh, I I'm going to be trying to look at some, maybe some results that he's gotten this season. I would like to see just, like, some results. Results F2, because he's in F2 currently. Um... But yeah, like, I doubt he's got any. Yeah, he hasn't got any points. That's a, that's already for sure. But has he even got any? Like, has he even done anything? Uh, let's see. He didn't like. He didn't get any points. And like, like, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a little hard to, to find every single race because obviously there's three races. For each um, result, for each track, obviously we got we have free races in Bahrain, then free races in Monaco. And so yeah, it's a little hard to show that because you like, you have to go inside like each race. But yeah, let's just say that he didn't come really anywhere close to to like even getting a point. And yeah, well uh, he he didn't he finished no points. Same with. Other drivers, like, full-time drivers. The only other driver, I think, was Samaya. Who was in the Charus. I think he's the only one. He he now has a team. He he has a teammate. Um, He had a teammate before. Uh, Before he had Jack. He has Jake Hughes right now. Before him, he had Jack Aitken, I think. I think it was Jack Aitken. But, yeah. um, Samaya was, like, the only other full-time driver who didn't get a single other point. Obviously, there's, like, Caldwell, who came in, like, at Jetta. So, like, 
Yeah, uh, Aitken, who, like, got crashed, like, had an accident in one of the first races, like, I think. And some of my other ones, like, Petikoff, Novak, and Sargent, who also haven't really done anything. So, yeah, him and Samai were the only two ones who got points. Is that free career? I also think hasn't been that good. Let's check his F3 career. Because I doubt he's really had anything to, like, shoot for in F3. So, yeah, let's just... I just want to see. Did he have anything good in F3? Like, in a, if I'm right, this was last year. Let's just see. Uh, oh, yeah, I think, I think he had to be last year in F3. Uh, uh, let's, I mean, I'm just checking, so, right now I don't see him, did he get any points? Wait, this is, this is, this is, this, se this season, oh yeah, I gotta go, um, so yeah, uh, n now let's check now. Oh my god, there was a lot of drivers, like, who went in and went out, but yeah, um, let's just, I'm just checking. For now I don't see him, like, in the not, at least not in the top ten. That's already not a good sign. Uh, top of 15, no. Um, is he even here? I don't even know. Oh, yeah, yeah. He finished 34 out of 35 drivers. Zero points and still got the call up to F2. Yeah. Zero points in F3. That's already not good. <laughs> That's already not good to not get any points. He still gets called up to HWA race lab. Like, like I, I don't understand the fact with that, really. Because, like, it, it's probably something to do with money, if I'm being honest. That's what I think. Because what kind of F2 team would go on someone who, who scored zero wins at free? And he was also 27. Like, and he's going to be with them HWA race lab next year. Well, it's not like he, like, so it's not like we're losing him. He's basically like Mavi or Unithan. But the thing is, he's going to be on for another year. Unithan was, was, though, at MP Motorsport. So, yeah, um, and he's also, free, like, literally, like, I think the last race he had, like, a, uh, had, like, uh, he had to start the back of the grid, had to serve free second, free, least drop, uh, he had, to, he, had, he had to get permission to literally, like, start the back. Uh, any, any other news for him? Like, it, it hasn't been a good year. It ha it, like, it's kind of like a pay driver in F2, really. It's like Guan Yu Zhou, really, like, this season. He's going now for Mayo, even though he finished third, and it's his third season. Really, though... Piastri deserves it more than Joe because in his first season in F2, he's getting, he's not getting the call up after he just won the title. Even Schwartzman maybe, he finished second, so like maybe even like Vips or Lawson maybe or I don't know like Porcher. So yeah, like there's a like and then, so like so yeah like the the letter like like it's also other videos like literally like. Let's see what the love, the the biggest disappointment in motorsport. Like they literally like why did, like like even in Monaco I heard that like he did something like against the rules or something. I'm actually gonna look this up because apparently he did something in Monaco this year. Monaco because apparently he actually kind of did something. Uh, yeah he 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 uh yeah yeah he he failed or. He failed to meet something, I think. Oh, he he, he was failing to qualify. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he uh, he to, yeah. The uh, less the letter allowed to race at Monaco despite failing to meet one hundred seven percent qualifying rule. Like, that's not good on paper. That's not good for people to be like for like that's to happen. He's also crashing a bunch of races. That's also not good. He's one of the oldest guys in F2 in his first season. The, like, yeah, and Asani is the, like, the only one older than him by like a month. Yeah, the, yeah, Asani is older than him. But only by like one month. 
or like even like 10 days i think yeah like 12 days like so yeah this this definitely doesn't reflect well on the letter how bad his performances have, have been in f2 he's if he does get a call to f1 then i'll be like it, it, it's over it's over for him because of how bad his season has been and i hope and I hope at least a after the next season he's gone. Because he's staying in F2 even after he had a worse season than Ragu Ra Ra Ragunathan. Yeah. That's not good. So, yeah. um, Hopefully he's going to be gone at one point. But, yeah. We're going to have Nanini uh, uh, with him at next season. And, yeah. I I I I'm excited for the next F2 season. We're going to have, like... Def, the new and you and I virtuosi, I think. There's always a lot of new changes F2 after season. But yeah, tell me how you think the letta, the letta is. And if you think he's also really bad and shouldn't deserve a spot. And how he's crashed so many times. Like Ragunathan and even Ragunathan the better to him actually. Because Ragunathan got one point and he didn't even get a single point. But yeah. Let, let's just leave it there, and I hope you guys like this video, I hope you like it, I find it helpful, and I hope you like the story of Lusty of the Lord, his, like, his backstory before getting to F2, and his story in F2 this season, because he hasn't gotten a single point, he has, like, crashed a bunch of times, and, like, hasn't done well, yeah, but, yeah, I'll see you guys next time, see ya.